Right, the three mile seven furlong Glen Fox has cross country chase. Yeah, Charlton giving Martin a break. One his wizard, Martin Needham. Two Captain Man wearing Martin Needham the favourite. And the three Maggie Saucy, the American challenger, Obi Wan. So three horses in the cross country chase. And away they go. Captain Man wearing the favourite gets off to a good start and jumps the first well. So Captain Man wearing leads from Stable Companion Wizard. Uh, the red colours and yellow cap. Those are Martin Leedham's colours. And the all yellow with the orange epaulets on the sleeve. That's uh, Obi-Wan's colours. Uh, the American challenger. The jump the next. And that's a very slow jump. A mistake by Maggie Saucier. Jumps him. Drops him to the back. Loses about two lengths on Wizard. But it's Captain Man wearing. He still takes him along for Martin Leedham from Stable Companion Wizard. Then comes Maggie Saucier for Obi Wan. There's about three lengths first to last in this cross country chase, and Martin Needham's Captain Man Waring takes him along. A comfortable leader, no real pace. Well, that's obvious in a three horse affair as they come to the next, and Captain Man Waring jumps it well. Maggie Saucier better jump than Wizard and moves back into second place. So it's Captain Man Waring over the dip and down the hill. Captain Man Waring the leader. They come to the next and jumps the next well from. Wizard Maggie Saucier in second, then Wizard the second Martin Leader Moss the jump the next and they're all over it well. Captain Man Waring comes to the next, jumps it well from Maggie Saucier, then Wizard at the back of the field. There's about six lengths first to last year as Captain Man Waring takes them along. They've jumped seven fences and they come to the eighth and Captain Man Waring jumps it well. A slow jump there by Maggie Saucier loses about a length on the leader and Wizard just behind the Obi Wan horse, that's the second Martin Leedermorse, in the back position, about six lengths off the leader, Captain Manwaring. So the favourite takes them along, they come to the next, jumps it well. Slow jump there by Maggie Saucy and Wizard, allowing the leader to gain another length. So he's about five lengths clear now, Captain Manwaring from Maggie Saucy in second. So jump the next obstacle, and they're all over it well. Captain Manwaring from Maggie Saucy in second. Wizard looks on from the rear, the second Martin Leedermorse. But a comfortable lead, yeah, an easy lead for Captain Manwaring. Hasn't really done much to get this far clear. So six lengths clear of Maggie Saucy and Wizard. Probably been helped by the other two not jumping that well. Captain on Manwaring, on the other hand, has jumped really well so far. Comes to the next. Uh, gives it a lot of air. They all do, in fact. So no change in the distances between the horses. So Captain Manwaring still clear for Maggie Saucy as a jump the next. He jumps out well. And so two does Maggie Saucy in second and Wizard in third. So it's the Martin Eden one and three, yeah, and in between the two of them is Maggie Saucy and those yellow colours, that's Obi Wan's horse, the black horse. Captain Manwaring for Martin Needham. Jumped 12 fences to date as they come over the dip, jumps it well, and they all do, but still five lengths between first and second as Captain Manwaring leads Maggie Saucy. Wizard on the quarters of Maggie Saucy in second as they've jumped 14 fences. And Martin Needham leads, Martin Needham's Captain Man wearing leads the field. They go down the dip and over the water jump. And we'll jump it over. Well, and it's still Captain Man wearing. Five lengths clear of Maggie Saucier in second. And Wizard on that one's quarters. So 15 fences jumped, almost at the halfway mark. They're over the, this little small jump. And again, Captain Man wearing jumps it well. And they're almost at the halfway stage. He's about four lengths clear now. I've pushed along for a stride or two, Maggie Saucier, and Wizard on that one's quarter. But on the other hand, Captain Manwaring, still traveling really well in front. About four lengths clear of Maggie Saucier in second. Close the gap slightly. Wizard is on that one's quarters. So they're at the halfway stage. They jump the next well, and Captain Manwaring, a comfortable leader from Maggie Saucier in second. So Martin Leedham, who won the Grand National last season, leads with Captain Man Waring in the cross-country chase. Maggie Saucier is in second, and Wizard makes up the numbers at the back of the field. About six lengths off the leader, and the leader is stable companion Captain Man Waring. As they jump the next well, slow in the air, there was uh, Maggie Saucier, has allowed Wizard to go past him. So Captain Manwaring now leads from Stable Companion Wizard after Captain of uh, Maggie Saucier made some errors at the last obstacles. And it's Captain Manwaring leads from Wizard in second. That's a Stable Companions one and two. They jump the next, they're all over it well. And Captain Manwaring is clear by this five or six length advantage from Wizard in second with Maggie Saucier on that one's inside. And Maggie Saucier now moving back up into second. 
as they come to the next and as Captain Mamori puts himself right and gets over it well for Maggie Saucier in second and Wizard back in third. So Captain Manwaring hasn't really gone a blistering pace in front, he jumps at one well from Maggie Saucier in second and Wizard in third and this advantage is probably just eked out by the two horses at the back making mistakes so Captain Manwaring not really pestered for the lead and not really made to go any faster than necessary leads comfortably by five lengths from Maggie Saucy has been pushed along to try and prove that uh, to close down the distance on the second horse and then leaving Wizard behind who's now dropped about a length or two behind Maggie Saucy but Captain Marin Merrick on the other hand still travels well in front as he come down the dip and over the water and they all jump it well so Captain Man wearing clear from Maggie Saucy in second only about three lengths now Wizard has dropped about three lengths off Maggie Saucy and it's Captain Man Waring. So past the stands, jumps it well for Maggie Saucier, and then Wizard back in the last position. So Captain Man Waring, a comfortable leader by three lengths. Maggie Saucier, in truth, has closed the ground to about three lengths or four lengths now. But they come to the next, Captain Man Waring booted into that and gets away well, and it's extended again by about four or five lengths from Maggie Saucier in second, who tries to close a bit of ground on the flat. Wizard is in danger of uh, dropping out of this. He's three lengths behind Maggie Saucy. They jump the next and Captain Man Merrick over it well. So is Maggie Saucy and Wizard a bad mistake at that and has now dropped about five lengths off Wizard of Maggie Saucy. So Captain Man Waring coming to the next and travelling well jumps it well for Maggie Saucy in second. Wizard needs to start making a move because he's quite a long way behind these two the two in front and it's Captain Man wearing three lengths clear of Maggie Saucy in second. Wizard being pushed along at the back of the field and I don't think he's gonna make any impression today. It's Captain Man wearing clear from Maggie Saucy who's trying to close this advantage. He's got it down to about three lengths. Maggie Wizard is being pushed along to try and prove but in truth he's not really improving at all. And it's Captain Man wearing Maggie Saucy makes a mistake and drops a further length or two behind uh Wizard uh, Captain Man wearing Wizard is still going but not really making much impression it's Captain Man Waring clear from Maggie Saucy in second another mistake by the second horse and Captain Man Waring jumps the next well from Maggie Saucy in second Wizard is about four lengths behind the second horse and it's Captain Man Waring who jumps the next and traveling one in front from uh, Maggie Saucy in second for Obi-Wan as they go into the onto the main course and it's Captain Man Waring who leads from Maggie Saucy in second Wizard has made no impression at the back of the field but Captain Man Waring has led them a merry dance and is well clear from Maggie Saucy is making no impression back in second. Wizard is struggling back in third. And as Captain Man wearing hands and heels, traveling well in front from Maggie Saucier in second. It's Captain Man wearing because they're coming to the home stretch. Yeah, and it's Captain Man wearing clear from Maggie Saucier. They jump the next. And it's Captain Man wearing traveling well in front from Maggie Saucier. Then comes Wizard as they come to the last fence. Captain Man wearing over it well. And Martin Edom's Captain Man wearing pull it to post, travelled well, jumped well and then the other horses never going to look in, not helped by their mistakes but they come to the winning post, the cross country chase, the Ten Vile Classic and belong to Martin Needham's Captain Man Murray who wins as he approaches the winning post now, crosses it in front from Obi-Wan's Maggie Saucier in second, Wizard for Martin Needham finished back in third, the Martin Needham wins the cross country chase and adds that to his growing list of uh, feature races on the national hunt scene. Captain Man wearing an impressive performance to win for Maggie Saucier in second and Wizard for Martin Needham finished back in third.